This is the next phase of the AI revolution, that is, AI techniques that can move around in the real world and help us with useful tasks. That would be nice, but we still have a missing puzzle piece to achieve that, and that is giving the AI enough training data to learn to be a good robot. NVIDIA came up with a system called Cosmos where you can take a little text prompt and it will imagine a world into existence. This is nice. More training data. This is the fuel that the AI needs, however, not so fast. This is not nearly enough to train a competent robot. We need something more. We need more control over what happens in these videos, but that's hard to do. Imagine trying to teach a self-driving car without being able to create an exact scenario for each lesson. That sounds impossible. How do we exactly say which direction everyone should move in? Should we draw something? Explain it in words? Nope. This is so much better. Look, you can give it almost anything, as long as it is informative and easy to produce. A simple game engine goes in and boom, you get a photorealistic output out of it. Video game goes in, reality comes out. But that's nothing. Look, it can even take depth information that is so little information and out comes a photorealistic factory. Or take a simple course robotic simulation without much graphics. And then, boom, once again, reality comes out. So cool. This is called Cosmos Transfer and it is absolutely mind-blowing. And get this, it is available right now for all of us to try. And NVIDIA did not keep this to themselves. The code is available right now. And what you saw was just scratching the surface. This can really go from anything to anything. From low resolution to high resolution, not a problem. Just looking at the outlines of the image and dreaming up everything else, not a problem. And if we are super lazy and we just want to teach the AI about a self-driving scenario, a couple boxes will do just fine. But here is where it gets even crazier. Previous techniques like ControlNet could do some of these, but now check this out. Oh my goodness, this takes even combinations of inputs and can create something meaningful out of that. Here you can even put in four different kinds of inputs and it can do absolute magic with them. And it creates not just one thing. From one input it can create a daytime video, nighttime video, snow, rain, anything you wish to ask for. Imagine having a self-driving AI that is able to learn in tens of thousands of these imagined scenarios, so by the time we deploy them in the real world, they will be prepared for anything. And if the car is not working well because the cameras are covered by raindrops, not a problem, it has seen it a million times already. And remember, all we contributed here was a couple of boxes absolutely incredible. And now let's level up, make some crazy robots. And wow, look at that. From one input you get different kinds of robots and not only that, but a bunch of different kinds of kitchens too. Then your little cook robot will get experience in working in a thousand different kitchens before it makes your first meal for you. What a time to be alive! So if you want to retire and open a bakery and you need some help, no worries. Or if you are one of our hardcore fellow scholars and have this sci-fi kitchen, not a problem at all. So far this is crazy. But in a moment, it will become magical. Your scene can easily become a factory, a construction site, and a living room too. And what really stunned me is that almost nobody is talking about these works. It breaks my heart and this is why 2 Minute Papers exists. And now, here is where the real magic happens. Dear fellow scholars, this is 2 Minute Papers with Dr. Karol Zsolnai Fehir. Now, let's actually do the work. Oh yes. It's happening. We are not just going to look at scenarios, we are also going to ask the AI to solve them, to test it, whether it understands what is happening and, most importantly, make a decision. So, stop first, turn right afterwards. Good job, little AI.
This is called Cosmos Reason, and we can even subject it to a little self-driving test. Give it a video and a question and see if it really understands how to drive around autonomously. Hmm. You know, for quite a few years now, I was not convinced at all that self-driving cars are ever coming to fruition. I thought there are just too many corner cases and if you fail just 0.1% of the time, that is not acceptable. And finally, with these new tools, we are today at the point where I am finally completely convinced self-driving is happening. We, humanity, are going to solve self-driving. And not just that, this tool is so much more capable, it generally has a much better understanding of the world than its predecessors. Yes, helpful robots are also going to be part of our future. Imagine a world where your car drives you safely home while your AI butler finishes folding the laundry, stirs the soup on the stove and sketches out blueprints for your dream kitchen. All that before you even take your coat off. And, of course, it waits you with an amazing research paper in hand. You will have plenty of time to read, study and reach for the stars, because it does all your chores in the meantime. Goodness, I love being alive today. And now, hold on to your papers, fellow scholars, because this model is also available for all of us to run locally free of charge. Two incredible new tools that will kick off an AI revolution. And they are available right now for all of us for free. Wow! Fellow scholars, if you are like me, it takes you a while to truly understand the paper, especially when it's not right in your area. Macro.com is a new AI document reader that gives you superpowers. Click on any term or figure and it explains it to you without leaving your page. You can even talk to the paper or ask questions too. Try it for free at macro.com slash papers and get $5 with the code papers.